first of all, the $100,000 is the cash outlay of the study. But in addition to this, the business and professional community will be donating in services and talents uh, worth over a half a million dollars. So even if the General Assembly paid the $100,000, the business community would still be contributing by far the greatest part of the study. Second is that similar studies have been made in over a dozen states. There's never been any problem of conflict of interest. Of course, they've scrupulously avoided doing anything that might have raised this as an issue. And third, and far from least, I think the business community in Virginia are honest, conscientious, loyal Virginians who just want to help our government, and I don't think there's going to be any conflict of interest. And as a final point, I might raise the thing that in this budget, we need every thousands of dollars we can get. And uh, I think if we send $100,000 to this study group when it is, hasn't been asked for, we're going to be open for criticism from the mental health group, the education group, and everybody else whose budgets have been cut. Now, I'm not going to stand in the way of doing anything the General Assembly wants to do. I would urge that they pass a resolution uh, supporting the study, but I don't think they need to contribute $100,000 to show this support.